Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my October empties. Now it looks like this bag is absolutely bursting but I think it's just a, a small bag with some pretty chunky items in it. So I don't think this will be too long a video. It should be quite short and sweet. So let's get on into seeing what I used up in October. I will start off with hair care. I only used up two items of hair care, both from Davines. It's the Your Hair Assistant Shampoo and Matching Conditioner. Didn't dislike these, but I didn't love them. And the reason I was trying to use these up this year is because they are quite pricey. So the shampoo comes in at $36 and the conditioner comes in at $40. So although I've only used two items, I have reduced my hair care inventory by $76 just from these two alone and yeah I like them but I certainly don't think they're worth that kind of price point in comparison to other shampoos and conditioners that I've had that I have preferred at either an equal price point or even a lower one so I like these but I didn't love them and I'm very glad to see them out of my collection. I used up four makeup items two primers the first of which is the Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel this was worth $48 and that was from this year's Project Pan, so I won't talk about it because you've heard me talk about it in those videos. The next one is actually a spoiler for my 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan, which you will see go live in December in the countdown to Christmas itself. This one was worth $36 and you'll see me talk about that in those videos when they come, so I won't bother going on about it here. Next to that we've got the MAC Brow Gel in the shade Penny. This was worth $23 and I have already repurchased this, so obviously I liked it. For me it's mainly a colour thing, it's the right colour for matching into my red hair. I'm not too fussed about holding anything, it's more that the gel kind of coats the hairs and makes sure they're all a uniform colour, that's the main thing for me. I've repurchased it and I'm happy with it. The last item is a lip balm from Malin & Gatz, this is worth $14. I have definitely been kind of swapping about between lip balms this year, I feel like I think this might be the first one I've actually finished this year but I've got about four or five that are all on their last legs and have been for ages. I just have had issues committing to any of them. Um, but the problem with that is that I am so sick of the sight of this because I feel like I've been working on it all year, even though I haven't been working exclusively on it. So I'm really, really glad that it is out and I'm hoping to still get another few out in November and December as well and to reduce my lip balm category a little bit more before we head into 2024. So in total, these four makeup items reduced my inventory by $121, which I'm very pleased about. Skincare is always my biggest category, so these are the facial skincare products that I have finished up in the month of October. First of all, I have my big Garnier Micellar Water here. This was worth $6.99. I'm really pleased to have finished this. I had to get a travel size one of these for going in my cruise in September, so finishing this one means that my face makeup remover collection is back down to two items. One thicker makeup removing cleanser, in this case the Lisa Eldridge one, and then one micellar water, and two is really where I want to keep that category at, so I am pleased that I have finished this one up, and I'm just going to try and finish the travel size now before I repurchase a bigger one. In terms of this precise one, which was the oil infused one, I really liked it, it didn't irritate me, would definitely repurchase this variation. Then I used up two serums, two vitamin C serums. The Sally Hughes one was worth $10, I talked about that in my beauty haul, which I think will have gone up two Sundays ago so I'm not going to talk about it just know that I am so so glad to see the back of it and then next to that there I've got the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate this one was worth $70 and I really enjoyed this I would definitely repurchase this this already was a repurchase for me and now that I've knocked the two of these out that's the one I would repurchase I was using these swapping about between them trying to keep the Kiehl's one for the days when I really just could not face the Sally Thews one definitely prefer the Kiehl's one that's the one I will probably repurchase purchase. Proper facial moisturisers from my collection. I've got the Kiehl Centella. This was worth $43. Then I've got a little mini of the Malin & Gatz Vitamin E face moisturiser. That was worth $4.41. And then one sachet sample which was a face moisturiser which 
I count as being worth one dollar towards my empties. Not much to say about the sashi sample or the mini melanin gats, you know you can only really tell so much, they were fine. Kale Centella I would just bring attention to if you have ever got a rash or an irritation in your skin, if you've got sensitive skin at all, this is just so good for taking down. What I tend to do is I use this if I've had an allergic reaction to something, almost use it the way that people might use calamine lotion, but I actually think weirdly calamine lotion makes me itchier and worse, so if you have an issue with calamine lotion, this is kind of like a good substitute. That is my facial skincare that I have finished up. To finish off, I've got three items of body care. The first is this Voyage Body Wash. This is from Space NK's own in-house brand. This was great. I really liked this. It has a pump dispenser, which I think makes you waste less product. The smell of this was absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed it in the shower, and I felt like it was really pungent, but I didn't feel that when I came out of the shower, I couldn't put perfume or anything on. You know, it wasn't a really overpowering smell but it was a really really nice one to wake up to. I really enjoyed this, would definitely definitely repurchase it. It's worth $18 so not too expensive. I do have quite a few other body washes in my collection at the moment so I won't be repurchasing it immediately but I could definitely definitely see me coming back to this one. This I definitely wouldn't purchase, it's the Heirloom London Sandalwood and Grapefruit Body Lotion. Now this was so difficult to get out of this packaging for a start but obviously the full size might be different packaging so that might not be relevant. The bottle was so hard, it was so difficult to squeeze and the lotion itself was quite thick so this was an absolute pain to use. I didn't love the smell, the texture was fine, definitely ones out there that are easier to use but this was worth $3.60 for this 50ml travel size. And then last but not least the Patchology Posh Peel. So this is worth $20 towards my empties. I have spoken about these before but basically you can get various brands of these, they all kind of do the same thing. Basically you get a packet with the boots in it, now I've binned them so I don't have them to show you but I can put in a cutaway of them on my feet. So you get a set with them and then with the Patchology ones you're getting two like little sets of solution, one for each boot. You pour that into the boot and then put your foot in the boot, strap it up, and you sit in it for, I think, an hour to two hours. Then basically nothing will happen for two weeks. You will think you have completely wasted your time. And then your feet will start peeling. And the peeling process is disgusting, satisfying, but vile. And then afterwards, basically, it's like the top layer of your feet have peeled off and you're left with baby feet. So yeah, really, really into these, really, really rate them. Um, but that is the last thing that I've got in this empties video. So in total, those nine skincare items were worth $177. So in total in October, I used up $374 worth of product. Adding that to my yearly totals, I'm currently sitting at having used up $2,650.66 worth of product. I'm really hoping to get some good strong months in in November and December to up that total a bit. Quantity wise I used 15 items and that brings my annual total so far to 111 items. So anyway that is everything for this video, thank you very much for watching it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!